Yo, what's good, guys? It's been a while since I show my, you know, my face and stuff. How y'all been? I hope you all been good. You know, like, you know, I, I've been gone for a while, man. Like, I've been gone for like, dang, shit, I've been gone for at least since July, actually. But I'm finally back, and I'm finally here with content, and you finally, you finally get to see my face again. You know. It's been a while. It's been three years since, you know, you've seen my face physically, you know, you seen my face. But, uh, shit. Now, how y'all been, though? How everybody been doing today on this on this lovely day, actually? And I've been enjoying my day, so I hope you've been enjoying your day as well. You know, it, it just feels good here, you know, just being here with all you, you know, you guys. I got a new phone, though, so my old phone, you know, phone I was using for a while, it, it's messed up now. I still got some life in it, but... No, um, <clears throat> it's it's not cutting on. So hopefully I'll get the cut on one day. But this is my third new phone, so I'm gonna be taking some good care of it and you know just doing some better stuff on it, you know, like content or whatever. But anyways, guys, uh, shoot, you already, I know why you're here. It's TFCon. Welcome to TFCon. Uh, yeah, TFCon. So yeah, you seen it? You seen the teaser? You seen the? The thumbnail, whatever you already know what's up. Uh, TFCon, uh, um, it's it's an event though. I'm a if you uh if you haven't seen the teaser, really don't know what it is. So let me explain it to you. So uh, TFCon is basically an event that I just did. Um, um, uh, you know, it's just an, it's an event that I did where I revealed tons of projects. All right, don't get it confused with the other TFCon. I'm not trying to copy that. I, I just know, just thought the name was accurate. I just said, hmm, what should I name this event? TFCon, because it's Transformers based only. I almost any KeithCon, but nah, that sounds like I'll have to reveal other stuff than Transformers. But TFCon, this is the first TFCon thing I'm doing in my life. Exactly, in my life in general. So, this. Wait. Him somewhere downstairs? Hold up for a second. This won't take long. Alright, I'm back. I had to check. But, uh, yeah, I thought somebody was down there. I heard like a dink, dink sound. Like somebody was hitting metal downstairs. But, uh, hey, I'm back. No, but, yeah, TFCon this is an event that I'm doing right now. I reveal tons of projects, you know, for this, you know, just that I got in the works, man. So, hey, you know, a lot of these projects, mostly from my universe, and, you know, it's it's, not, it's just in general. It, mostly, I say some of this stuff isn't for the universe, but we'll get to, we'll get to that once I reveal these projects. So, I, a lot of you here, you know, I said I was going to reveal some things. I told some of you guys I was going to reveal, you know, some projects or whatever. I was going to do an event where I reveal a certain project. But, look, all you need to know is that this is a... An event where I reveal tons of Transformers content, and I think you all will like this. But hey, welcome to the um, welcome to the video. I'm glad you're here. So uh, shit, yeah, I thank you all for coming here, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. It's been damn, it's been. I've been playing this for a while actually. You're supposed to do this like last August, you know, like August, but schedule got in the way and stuff, and you know that stopped me. Plus, my phone stopped working and stuff and then you know the whole like oh no my clips were stuck oh no I, I gotta I was filming a series so you know I'm back doing it if you guys already know what it I know some of you if you know what it is then hey congrats and you must know that um that I'm finished with that series so it's cool but I don't want to be rambling too much y'all I know what y'all here for I got a bunch of projects man so basically, uh, I'm gonna start out. So, so basically, I got some projects that I'm doing for the Generation Universe, and uh, yeah, just some projects in general. So I'm gonna go over that, and uh, so check out the paper here. I got like a lot of stuff up here. Let me move. Let me this over. I may sound like I'm rambling, and I think I am a bit, but it is what it is. So you know, I'm doing some projects for my universe right now, right? And uh, this is pretty impressive, actually. You know, the stuff that I got here. Titles and whatever. I think you all like it. So, uh, dang. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to start off through with this. So, the Generation Universe, right? It originally was supposed to end next year. 
But I decided that, hey, hmm, what if I expand this universe even more? Keep it going. There's a lot of potential within this universe. There's a lot of unique ideals and things that I can do. And not just in the generation of the earth, but, you know, just stop motion in general, you know? And so I said, huh, damn, that will work. So, therefore, I'm going to do that. I will indeed do that. And there you go. So, what are these projects and these new projects I'm going to do? Well, first off, all you know is, you know, Transformers Generations, that's, you know, that man came out, still running. I'm going to do some more episodes, y'all. So, I'm still doing episodes. Season 3 still up on episodes. So, while you're watching this, I'm still, you know, posting episodes for Season 3. Uh, and, you know, I did the lockdown thing and, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go all the projects, the ones that, you know, you know, are supposed to be announced and the ones that, you know, already been premiered and stuff. I'm going to talk about those as well. And then I got some more juicy stuff after that. So, stay tuned. So, uh, shit, anyways... My first project, so not first person, so I'm gonna do the saga. It's called the um what is it? Oh, that's right, it's called the Fallen Saga. So essentially the Fallen Saga is a saga compromised of multiple projects. And it's about the fallen. Basically, it's about the fallen. Megatron is one of the primes. So the primes do exist in here, but Megatron is, you know, he's um and what is it? He is this he's basically like the big bad guy in the saga, like the Thanos, like how Thanos was, you know, the big bad of the Infinity Saga. But, uh, yeah, I was about to, shit, you know, I might as well just get to that second. I'm gonna start off with just the stuff that's already here. So, anyways, Transformers Generations. That's, season four is finished. If you don't know, if you haven't been keeping up or whatever, then just let you know, season four is completed. I'm done filming it right now. I could go back and reshoot some scenes only because, you know, the green screen or whatever. But yeah, there are some scenes that I, I don't, I'm hoping I do not have to redo over. But if I do have to redo some scenes, it's just me, just, you know, just filming the same scene, but, you know, making sure that this time the green, why am I looking up that? But this, making sure that this time the green screen is able to be removed. But, uh, I don't think, you know, I'm going to have to reshoot some scenes, but, uh, if I do, then I do. But as far as I know, I don't have to. So yeah, season three is still coming out. It was supposed to finish like summer, but uh, one of my voice actors, you know, he got too busy and stuff and I was, you know, waiting for the line. So I had to delay that. It's my voice actor for Slug Stinger. So, you know, I, that's the reason why some of the episodes been delayed and whatnot. So yeah, which means I have to, means of season three, most likely end next year in 2024. So yeah. Probably in January, it could be February. So, hey, but just to let you know, it's gonna end early next year. So, yeah. So, yeah, I, I did like, um, if you look on the screen, which you most likely are, if you see like, um, like a title, for, like a title font, you know, for generations, then there you go. So, yeah, I did a font there. Season four is uh, completed. So, basically, the whole series completed. I can't wait. I'm still going to have to find some voice actors for that season. Right? But, yeah, it's done. It's completed. It's the best season. I'm telling y'all, it's the best season. And it's the final season, too. So, there's that, man. I think you all are going to love... Not think. You all are going to love this season. Season 4, you're going to love it. And especially with the... Um, with how season 3 leads up into that. Marvelous. You're going to love season 4. That's the best season. It's the darkest of all. And, uh... Yeah, season four has a it's TVMA. It has an R rating to it, so there's that. It's very dark, very serious. It takes itself serious. But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah. So generations. Next up, Prime and Willie. Prime and Willie was a it's a spinoff, but it's sort. Of, I think it's like a not a thing, but it's it's like a prequel to Generations. Basically, it takes place um, well, it was supposed to take place like during um like the first episode, very first episode of Generations. But maybe the last episode of Prime Willie may take place there because the creator is coming back, the homie, Tanimation. Or you probably know him as Tanimation. He's coming back though. And yeah, he's pretty busy. He's, you know, you know, just enjoying life right now. But he is going to come back and work on Prime Willie. And uh, he's going to cook though. So I trust him, of course. 
But yeah, probably all episodes, though the episodes that's already been, all three episodes that being released, plus the future episodes they're gonna do, they all take place in the same year as Generations Episode One. Because Generations Season One, Episode One takes place in December 2017, while Prime and Willie was always uh, you know, uh, designed to be set in 2017 as well. So the whole series is still place in, take place in 2017. Anything further than that is not going to happen. So Prime Willie only takes place in 2017. Rest of Generations, like, you know, rest of Season 1 of Generations takes place in 2018, with um, the second episode of Season 1 taking place in January. Lockdown. Man, I'm gonna get to that last. But uh yeah. Probably is, is coming back though. Creators coming the dude's coming back. I can't wait. I think you all gonna of course you all gonna like what he got because he be cooking though. His content in general be cooking. So I definitely recommend you check his content out. Even though he's been, you know, off on YouTube for like a year. The last time he uploaded was a year. And I enjoyed this style motion though. Know? So he be he be cooking though, so I'm here to support him still. But yeah, he's coming back to Power and Willie. So hey, Prime Willie is coming back though. It's coming back finally. So yeah, you're gonna, you know, see more stuff in the universe. But anyways, enough of that though. Lockdown. Lockdown, lockdown, not a lockdown movie. That's that's right. Lockdown, the Transformers story at the Transformers Star Motion. I think that's what it's called. I gotta go back and see what the title was. But you know what I'm talking about. The lockdown movie that I released way, you know, like that I released like months ago. So yeah, lockdown movie is essentially like a sequel. It's a sequel to um Prime and Willie. So basically, um, you know, it's I don't really want to spoil that right now. But uh sure, cause was... Well look, if you watched it then you know what's up. But uh, yeah, it's a sequel to that right there, you know, and yeah, it's, it it follows, you know, what the last episode probably really would have been like, you know, what still would most likely be like as well. So yeah, it's, it's a sequel to Prime Willie. takes place right after, it also takes place in 2017, then even goes further. So yeah, like the very beginning of Lockdown picks up directly after Prime and Willie. you know, after the last episode, which is going to, you know, come out and whenever he comes back and do it. So yeah, lockdown. It's a very dark story. Lockdown is basically um, he has survivor skills, so he's basically going crazy. You know, he blames himself for you know stuff that went down in the last few episodes of Prime Willie or the last episode in general. But he blames himself for the stuff that went down there, and now he's hunted. He's hunted. He's being hunted in his dreams and even in a real world. So yeah, there is that man. It's a very dark story though. Uh, I think you all like nothing. You all like that. If you didn't watch it, then check it out, please. Like it's it's really good though. It's really good. I'll continue making more dark stuff like that, but I'ma get to that. But check it out though. Lockdown. Uh next up, damn, what is it right here? Huh. Alright, next film. Next film I got. Orion. Now, um uh, Orion. Orion is it's basically an origin story. So Orion is basically Orion Pax. So it's, you know, about how Optimus Prime became Orion Pax. This is, you know, it's a good, it's a great story, man. You know, I already got ideas for that and stuff. It was, uh, it's good, man. It's, it's really good. I think you all like this. I wanted to explore origin stories. You know, like I sort of like got into that in gen I got into that in season, you know, in generations. And, uh, you know, uh, I didn't dip into it in lockdown. Hell, I don't even think Tan even dipped into it into Prime and Willie. But did he? No, 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 no. As far as I'm concerned, he, we ain't really, he ain't going that territory, origin story territory. But hey, I'm doing origin stories now, so hey, we got Orion. So, Orion, a uh, Transformers story. That's the name of it, Orion, a Transformers story. But if the title is different on, on the screen, then it's different. But yeah, Orion, the Transformers story. It's a prequel. So, you know, it takes place like, you know, it's, you know before and during the war. So it, it shows us how, how Orion Pax became Optimus Prime. You know, his struggles and whatever. You know, it's it's an origin story. So it'd be pretty good. It's a pretty good way to expand the universe and, you know, just to tell something 
you know, something great about one of the greatest characters in all of fiction. All right, Optimus Prime is one of the best characters in fiction. So yeah, it's stay tuned for that. It's supposed to, I originally had it slated for next year, two thousand twenty-four, but uh I don't know if I might be able to get it done because I want to make sure you get the script right. I'm gonna start on the script. You know, I'm gonna start you know this year on it and next year on it. I'm gonna either start on it this year or next year, but. I say expect for it to come out in 2025, as well as the next film which I'm going to talk about right now. And that film, this Megatron is a Transformers story, or an origin story. Whatever title you see on the screen, that's exactly what it's going to be called. So uh, Megatron is right. This this film right, it's, it's, the, it's in the same boat. It's the same like a like a ride, you know, origin story. You know, show us how this character became who he is today. So there's that right there. So yeah, I'm expecting for it to come out in 2025 as well. It was supposed to come out next year, like a rhyme, but nah, I don't really rush things and stuff. So there's that, man. So yeah, those two origin stories, you all would definitely, definitely mess with. You all would love. I know y'all like that. I'm gonna make sure I put all my heart and soul in that. Based in all these projects, actually. So, yeah. But yeah, there's that. Expect that to come out in 2025. Alright, though. Shit. Hmm. Okay, okay, damn. What else? Uh. Oh, yeah, that's right here. Sorry. Um. Paranoia. Per. Paranoia. Paranoia is a. Yeah, let me get to this. Paranoia. It's a short film that I actually got done filming with, <laughs> is you know, you know, while I was filming season three, not three, but season four of generations. The paranoia is basically um, a film that takes place right after season two of generations. Well, let's just say before season, well, before season three of generations, and it takes place like around season two. Place it takes place in season two, so it's uh, it's basically about the Titans. It's a paranoia story, so it's basically about the Titans and stuff, and yeah, but it is a it is a prequel to season three of Generations, so yeah, um, it's a tie-in too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's, it's a tie. It's a, um, it's a season three tie-in. So yeah, so it's a tie. -in. I'm doing tie-ins now. Just to let you know, I'm doing tie-ins. So going forward, I'm gonna do tie-ins. You know, for this for this entire universe. So you're gonna get. A, Ton and a ton of tie-ins. Yeah. Hold up, so I gotta close the fan. Hold up. Damn. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Paranoia is a fourth. It's enough. It's a short film. It's solely about Cogman. You know, he's he's a very paranoid character in this. So you know, he has a lot of paranoia going on. He's being paranoid. He's paranoid in this. So yeah, there's that. Is uh, it's pretty good though. It's, I think it's a psychological type of film, like a, a psychological thriller. Either way, it ties in with season three. You're gonna like this, so expect this come out. Expect this come out right after season three ends. It, yeah, expect that to come out when that you know does that. It's finished. I think I got all the lines for it except like I think three or four voice actors. Haven't even sent me their lines yet. But everyone else, though, they cool, though. They cool, they cool. Cogman's voice actor already sent me his. He's pretty great, though. Uh, Jay Watchcraft. The man's cold. He's good as Cogman. The perfect voice actor. Can't have anyone else better than him. Well, not bad, but what I'm trying to say is, like, he's the perfect voice actor for Cogman. And I'm glad I got him. No one can replace him in my eyes. But it's Cogman. But anyways, yeah. There's that paranoia. Short film or whatever it's called. At the top. Next up. Chaos Awakening. Now. That's the title of it. Chaos Awakening is a, it's also a short film. It's also a tie-in. But it's a tie-in to season four. Now, what can I say about that one? I, I can't say much, yo. I can't say much. You can theorize whatever if you want to. But a Chaos Awakening... I mean, 
I don't, I can't, I got you, my mouth right there. It's a tie in the season four. All you need to know is that it's a tie in season four, and it's going to premiere next year, before season four, and after that, uh, after Paranoia. It's going to premiere after Paranoia. So, yeah. All I can say, yeah. Those are the only things I can say about that. The only things I can say about Paranoia. Yeah. But you're going to, it's going to be pretty good, though. That's, that's been filmed. Now. Oh, yeah. One thing I can say about that, though, Paranoia, not Paranoia, I mean, Chaos Awakening, is that Chaos Awakening was also filmed at the same time, season four, and Paranoia was filmed. So I got done with that, you know, I got done with season four, Paranoia, and Chaos Awakening all at the same time, as I filmed them during, like, the, the same, at the same time, though, so, yeah. Film it actually ended for um per not you know, for paranoia and yeah I think maybe chaos awakening no 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 I don't think chaos no but for paranoia though film you know been finished but you know due to the clips me stuff on my phone I had to you know go back and redo some stuff because my phone went off again though and I think it was like it was one scene that was missing from paranoia that needed to just be shot and it was just caught it was just a shot of compliment. You know, just um, land. Well, I think it was him laying down. It was just one shot. It was just a shot of Colin, actually. Yeah. It was just a shot of him laying down on the floor. So there was that. But yeah, that's what I can say about uh, Chaos Awakening. And uh, yeah, you all gonna like that. All right. <laughs> ah, let's see what else I got on here. Damn, what else do I got? Hmm. All right. Well, let me get to this. So I'm gonna do some now. The next project is called Love Don. Now you may be like, okay, what is this? What is what is Love Don? This this what is Love Don, man? What what is it? What is Love Don? Well, glad you asked. Love Don is a prelude to a series that I'm gonna be doing. It's a prelude to a record series that I'm gonna be doing. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna get more into the record series later, but. All you need to know is that Love Dines is a prequel, aka a prelude to the record series. So essentially, Love Dines is about, you know, Stringer and RST on a mission. On a mission, you know, just, they're just on a mission, though. So it's about those two together, you know. Love and War, that would have been, damn, that would have been a pretty good title. Love and War, actually. Huh. Don't be surprised if that's actually, you know, that. If that actually becomes a project, love and war, love war, love and war, whatever. But love Don though, it's 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 a it's a prelude to a record series that I'm gonna talk to in a bit that I'm talk about a bit. And uh essentially, yeah, it's just bringing RC going on a mission. And this is gonna be pretty cool though. Uh or I'm gonna tell you something about RC. She's pretty bit messed up in the head, kinda. It's bringing he puts up with this shit. He no, let me stop cursing. He puts up with this. He puts up with it. So, uh, you know, they, but they, you know, they love each other, though. So they, they, they love each other. Hey, gotta deal with a crazy person while you can, though. So, uh, yeah, love Don. That's happening. I can't wait to work on that soon. Actually, though, I was supposed to work on it already, but I can't wait to work on it. Though. That's, man, I can't wait to work on that. <laughs> I can't wait to do that. You all gonna like that as well. Next up, uh, Transformers War Within. Now. Transformers War Within was originally titled Spinister the Series or Spinister. It went by two different titles. This is this is this series is a collaboration kinda it's kinda all like it's a it's it's basically like a, a collaboration between me and the retro guy, the homie the retro guy. So basically I did the script, he also came in and did the script, but he's gonna be doing like the feminine. But it's gonna be a while before he even works on um, you know, War Within. So, yeah, it's going to be a while before he does that because, you know, he's pretty busy with his own stuff, though, you know. Because the stuff that he's doing right now is pretty cool, though. But, yeah, War Within, though, it's, it's a six-episode series. It's basically about Spinister uh, on the run from the... On the run from... Damn, I'm I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that a little bit later, actually. I can say that. But he's on the run from a, from a very... From a very angry... Angry source from a very angry group that wants to get rid of him. So now he has a partner. So he gets arrested and now he has a partner 
with two other characters, Rumble and Kickback, in order to secure his freedom, because they both have been in prison by this Autobot security um, force, led by Autobot Grapple. So yeah, now they have to, um, you know, have to go on a mission, have to go on a suicide mission to ensure their freedom. And they don't, then damn, they done for it. But yeah, there's that. It's a six episode series. It's just, it is TVMA. So going for a lot of my stuff to be TVMA. So basically, I say 99 or 98% of stuff would be TVMA. Yeah, 90, see, 98. Not 98, but 99 would be TVMA. Well, let's go with 98. 98 of stuff that's, that's going forward is going to be TVMA. So yeah, there's that, man. But yeah, that's all you need to know about the Spinister series. Now tired of Transformers War Within. And yeah, me and Retro, I did script. He helped too. He also did script though. So yeah, both of us were cooking. He definitely be cooking up. But yeah, it's going to be a great series. And you all like this one. It's very dark though. So yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Rumble's a bit of, it's, it's a bit messed up in the head though. He's messed up in the head though. Rumble, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's that. Nice stuff. Speaking of Rumble, we got a Rumble series called Rumble Death and Penalty. It's the same situation as the the series, aka one with the, you know, I, script. Do I'm doing the script. You doing the film, filming? He most likely have a part in the script, though. He probably most likely, has, but he most likely, you know, probably. I'm, a, you know, he gets to look at the scripts and you know, go ahead and edit what he thinks is best, though. So yeah. But yeah, this is basically a sequel to um to um Spinister, aka Trench from the War Within. Essentially, this is a Rumble series, so you know he's he's crazy though. He's out doing whatever and uh, shit. Yeah, um, so uh, Rumble, you know he. I don't want to spoil. I don't want to have to. Spoil. Honestly, all I can say is that he's roaming around now. Whether they let him free or not in the Spinister series, Spin not Spinister. Uh, Spanish, not Spinster, I mean Spinister. Whether or not he actually got his freedom, I can't say. Because, hey, he could have either escaped, could have killed, you know, the people that's been in prison him, or he could have just gotten his freedom. Hmm, who knows how this will go? Maybe he's still in prison, and, and he's just, whatever. All you need to know is that he's roaming around. I can't tell you, you know, how that's even possible, but... Yeah, he's, he's yeah. This is a sequel. He's out and about, and uh, he has to deal with this this threat, the Predacons, Megatron. You know, um, which is gonna actually uh, he's dealing with Megatron from the future, Megatron and uh, you know his Predacons. So yeah, which ties into another series that I'm doing, and uh, it's Beast Wars. Now Beast Wars, right? Beast Wars is uh. Is a pre. No, no. Hmm. Well, I can't say that. No, no, no. But Spinister, though, is. Uh, not Spinister. I mean, Rumble is essentially. Not essentially, but it is a prequel and sequel to Beast Wars. Both shows deal with time travel. I can't tell you the reason why time travel is even in this, but all you need to know is that Rumble is a prequel and a sequel. And you will understand why once, once these happen. Or, uh, you know, once more details come out. But you will understand why in the future, though. So, yeah, I can't wait to work on that, though. I'm supposed to be working on it already, actually. But, yeah. There's that. Y'all gonna love that. Y'all will love that. And it's part of a... Nah, I was gonna say the saga. I was gonna, damn, I was gonna reveal the... It's part of the saga. I was gonna reveal that saga, but... I'll, I'll reveal it after season 4, so, but I'll, I'll do that. I was really about to show it, though. I was really about to show it. Oh, uh, should I show it? I'll think about it at the end. Of it. I'll let you know at the end of this video whether it'll happen or not. But anyways. Oh, uh, yeah. Speaking of, um, well, speaking of sagas and whatever. Um, Spinners, the Spinners series, which goes by Church once well within, it's actually part of the saga that I'm doing. And it's actually, um, the start of a, of a saga, but I'm a, I should probably get to that. I'm gonna get to that. Anyway, actually, I'm gonna hold off on that. But uh, yeah, next thing I'm doing um is the Impactor movie. Now um I have a writer for this. 
you know, I gave him, you know, characters, what to use, and he had an idea, but, you know, it's sort of out of... Look, all you need to know is I got to write it for that. I got to write it for this Impactor movie. This is happening. This takes place in 2018. Impactor is a record, of course. He's, he's been a record in this universe. So, yeah, this is this takes place way before the record series. So, yeah, because the record series... Guys, so I was gonna talk about the records later, but uh, yeah, this is um, this is set before that, of course. So, yeah, but the impact on movies about impact or that's all you need to know. Impact on movies in the works, and I got someone for it. Yeah, I'm most likely gonna direct that though, but he's writing it though, so that's cool. I trust him, and yeah, I hope for the better though, but yeah, just know impact on movies in the works. Damn, it's three feet. Okay. Anyways. Now I have a random project in the works. And this random project goes by the title, um what is it? Oh yeah, um point blank versus cranky. So it's just it's just a simple stop motion, you know, just like I'm gonna fight and whatever. It's just a simple stop motion, it's a good stop motion. It's just a simple stop motion, it's a fun stop motion. It doesn't really contribute much to the universe other than expanded it, but it definitely shows us, you know, characters, you know, characters that are gonna appear down the line, though. So yeah, these two characters, Point Blank versus Crankcase, this is just, it's just that Point Blank versus Crankcase. That's that. That's happening. It could come out any time actually, but well, not right now. But sometime next year, it'll come out sometime next year, cause it's just that easy. I actually got the two pack over there, the bundle. That's why I'm doing it. I got the bundle right behind my bed, actually. So yeah, I just damn much went to the stores and saw a bunch of bundles. Huh. <laughs> Crazy. And it was I saw that bundle there, but it's more bundles of other characters, so Ah, yeah. But yeah. Point Blade vs. Crankcase. Stay tuned for that. Next up, I got some untitled DJD projects. Now, I have a writer for that too. These projects, right, um, yeah, DJD, right? I'm introducing the DJD in this universe. Uh, yeah. This is this DJD stuff is gonna be the start of a saga. Now I would I would show you. I guess I might show you at the I'll decide whether I'll show you all at the end of this video. Whether whether or not it's happening or whatever. But yeah, it's DJD happening. It's supposed to be a series and a movie. But I have no idea what he want to call it. I have no idea what the writer wants to call it. All I know is that I gave him the reins to work on the DJD stuff. And he said he wanted to do a DJD movie. And uh, I was in the show. So yeah, there is that, man. And I trust him. I have faith in him. I know he's going to do very well, man. And hey, this is going to be good, though. I actually got a torn, though. So I bought torn. He's on my bed right now. No. Hold on. But yeah, DJD is happening. It's in the works. Be ready for that. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> All right. Let me see what else. So basically, I cover. Okay. Now, 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 now. Here's I'm gonna start with these three other projects. All right. First project finished over now is Transformers Bloodshed. Now, <laughs> this Transformers series is set in 19, um, I think 92. It's set in the 1990s, and it's, you know, set on Cybertron, so it's before Yabas came to Earth, and it's after those Cybertron episodes that I did during Season 1 of Generations. So in Transformers Bloodshed, it's about the Autobot Sunstreaker dealing with the death of his brother Sideswipe. Yes, Sideswipe died in Prime and Willie. I'm going to touch on that. That's basically the main plot point of this series. So basically, you know, Sunstreaker... Knew about his death, and in this series, it affects him really hard, man. No, no. It affects him really badly. So this is basically about Sunstreaker. And you know how he's dealing with his brother's death. It's a 13-episode series. It's TVMA, and it's very dark. The script has been done, and it's most likely coming out next year. But Sunstreaker is the main character and stuff. But yeah, this is a good, good series, though. So this is, I guess you could say, a prequel to... This is, this is a prequel to Prime Willy. But I guess you say it is a sequel in a sense, kind of. Because, you know, there was a scene of Sideswipe's death and probably took place in the past, though, so. And I guess you could say this is, this is set after that, of course. So I guess you say this is technically a sequel. But mostly, it's, it's a prequel, actually. So, yeah. 
It's you know um, it's connected to Prime Quest. It's connected to Prime movie. Why not? Why wouldn't it be? But yeah, there's that. Is that right? No, no, that's not. But uh, yeah, it's about Sun Shriek and then with the brother his dealing with the death of his brother Sideswipe. And yeah, if you want to see Sideswipe's death, I recommend you check out Tans. You know, I'm not you know play this for Prime Willie. All three episodes are on YouTube only. They're on YouTube only. I think you all loved it. Not think, but you all like that series. So, but yeah, I, it's pretty good though. I'm gonna be filming that, and I, of course I I read I wrote I read that I, I wrote that actually. But yeah, 13 episodes, very dark TVMA is pretty good though. You're gonna like it. Next up, Trent. I'm not Trent. But next up, Cybertron Falls. It's a sequel to that one. It's set in um, what, 2004. Four, three, two, one, zero. Nine. Wait, hold on, yo, cause down, yo, cause bloodshed think takes place in nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, but this takes place in no, 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 no. Take that back. No, the Cybertron Falls is not set in two thousand four. It's set in two thousand and two, which would mean that one zero nine eight seven. Bloodshed is set in two, not two, but 1997. And this show, Cybertron Falls, is set in 2002. So, you know, the same year the Autobots, you know, finally go to Earth. But yeah, Cybertron Falls is, is I guess you could say it's a standalone sequel. It's still a sequel, but it's its its, it's own thing, though. It still connects to, like, Bloodshed and whatever. You know, both shows are, of course, canon, you know. They're all, they're both connected. But, you know, it's, it's a huge time gap, so, I mean, you can't really pick up right after that, though. So, yeah, but it's set out there, it's a sequel to that, and it's set in 2002. And, yeah, this shows, and this is going to show us how the Autobots are getting ready to go to Earth. You know, which lead in generations. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, Cybertron Fall was originally set to come out next year, but with the script not being finished and me doing other stuff, and I got to get other figures... I still gotta get stuff for Bloodshed, but that has more of a chance coming out because I already know what's gonna happen. The script took me a little bit, but it took me a while, it took me like a year actually. But yeah. Mm, expect Cybertron Falls to come out in 2025, though. <clears throat> what day in 2025? I don't know. So expect it to come out in 2025. There's that, Cybertron Falls. Next up, Transformers Arrival. This picks up directly. Directly after Cybertron Falls. So, you know, at the end of Cybertron Falls, the Autobots leave, leave Cybertron to go to Earth. And this takes place in 2002 as well. So, you know, like it picks up directly after that. You know, it's about the Autobots, the adventures on Earth and stuff, you know, how they, you know, um, adapt to, you know, Earth. So it's going to show us, you know, how they, you know, how we know them. It's just gonna show their relationship with Earth, you know, their relationship, you know, that was in Generations and whatever. It's it's a prequel, you know, Generations like um Bloodshed and Cytron Falls is. So there's that. It's thirteen episodes as well. Same with Cytron Falls. So Bloodshed, Cytron Falls, and Transformers Arrival are all thirteen episodes. And are all um dark. Uh hmm, yeah. Um, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. There's that. So, yeah, expect Transformers Arrival to premiere in 2025. All right, all right. <clears throat> now, now, now. Next, next, we got an untitled Combaticons film. Now, this this film is, is, is going to be written. I don't know. I'm most likely going to direct it myself, but this is written by a homie that I know. Virgo, Draco, everybody. Virgo Drago anime. He's, he's a voice actor of Vortex. He's a voice actor of Vortex. And when he came to me, he was like, Ooh, I would like to do a Combaticons project. Because, and I said, Yeah. And he told me, like, how he can embed in, you know, in the writing stuff. I trust him. He's the homie. He's a, he's a great person, though. So I definitely subscribe to him if, you know, if you see his channel pop up or whatever. If you go back to Generations and if you just look, if you see his channel pop up, Virgo Drago, Drago anime, subscribe to him. He's a cool homie. He's gonna help out with this. With this. So he's the writer of this. And you know, I don't know what he's gonna work on it, but you know, he has enough time to do it though. And you know, 
Yeah, he's gonna do well. I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. I, I put my whole faith in him. So he's cool though. So yeah, that untitled combat kind of film is happening. Next up, Operation Brian. This 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 is complete now. Operation Brian is this this different. It's a sin, it's a slavery film. Now, now Operation Brian is about the Autobot Brian, right? Who's trying to stop slavery after he thought it was over with because slavery existed. Slavery existed in in, the, in this universe. It exists in this universe. But you know, Operation Nah. No, but you know, Autobot Braun, he thought slavery was over with, and when he heard that it's still going on, he's gonna try to stop it. So Braun is the main hero, he's our main hero, and our main villain is Sweep. Yes, yeah, Sweep. Actually, if you see hmm, I don't know if you can see though, but Braun is right I don't know if you can see that, but he's on my shelf actually. But yeah, Braun, that script's been finished last year in February. And uh, I got voice actors for it already too. I think I gotta get some voice actors for some of the slaves. With the script been done. I, I'm ready to film it already now. Like it, it's ready to come out. I say it has a chance of coming out next year. But it's a very dark story. It is T it is rated R. It's oh, it's dark, man. Like Rod is gonna go out here and fight slavery. He's gonna fight even try to put it in the slavery. So yeah, there is that. This takes place in 2000. 18, so yeah, same year as the rest of season one generations. This takes place in Cybertron too, of course. There's that Operation Braun. That's completed. That's completed. Now, here now I'm doing now. Here's something else that's interesting. A what if? Now this is a what if. Now this this could be for generations, blood shit, or any other project. But this is for generations, so it's a what if. Now, I can't tell you the, the actual title. I'm going to tell you a mock-up title. But, or a cover title. But this title I'm going to tell you was the original title of this what if. And this what if is titled, What If the Autobots Lost? Now, I can tell you what what point in time or what episode or which season, you know, this is, this is going to basically be off of. But I'm going to tell you something right now. This is not canon in any way. I'm telling you, this cannot take place in the... I'm telling you, this cannot be canon in any way whatsoever. It's a fun with it, but it's impossible for it to be canon. You'll see going forward. You'll see why it cannot be canon. You will understand why it cannot be canon at all. You will understand. But you expect it to come out next year as well. Expect this what to come out next year. So yeah, what if the Autobots lost? There's that. Now, next up. Transformers Nightmare. Transformers Nightmare. This is definitely coming out next year in October. Transformers Nightmare is a sequel to Transformers Generation Season 4. So this is set five years in the future because Season 4 is set in 2021. And this is set in 2026. So in the future, the every, look. All, all of us... Look, all life is gone. All humans are dead. Uh, all Autobots are dead with a few survivors. Same with the Decepticons. Uh, there's no life on Earth. Earth is a hell. It's, it's a hell land. It's a, it is deserted. It is messed up. And the universe is, you know, it's messed up. So Earth is hell. So this is basically based off of Zack Snyder Justice League. So there are only a few survivors. Everybody's dead. They lost. We we are dead. We're dead in the future. You know, survivors. This is completely dark and gritty. This is this is depressing, man. This is this is sad, man. This is this is dark. There are no jokes here. There's no lighthearted moments. It's just depression everywhere. This is dark, man. Transformers Nightmare is 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 completely it's it's messed up, man. It's crazy, man. Like yo, everybody dead though. What a few survivors, of course. What a few survivors, of course. And uh, yeah. There's that, so rest in peace, guys. So yeah, this is five years in the future. Autobots have gone. All Cybertrons are gone. Earth is, I mean, all the humans are wiped out. Earth is destroyed, just like in, you know, in the Snyderverse, you know, how it was in the Nightmare Future. You know, yeah, so it's messed up, and uh, the Autobots are trying to survive, though. 
They try and survive, and they can't. They can't really save the planet. They can't do that. Only thing they can really do is stop the threat, and then that's it. Because as long as that threat is alive, there's more chaos will be happening. And if they get rid of that threat, they have to worry about no more chaos. But the planet is still messed up. Everybody is still dead. The universe is, is basically I say the universe is messed up. It is is destroyed. It is messed up. It's it's like Earth though. It's, it's destroyed. It's nasty. It's in a hellish situation. So yeah, there's that. Transformers Nightmare is officially coming out next year in October. I did not do the script, but I am going to do the script this in, in a few days, actually. Could do it today. But I'll do it this month, though. I'll do it this month. I already got ideas for it. The title font, if you're seeing that right now, it's already done. So yeah, I'm, I'm ready to do this. It is 13 episodes as well. So yeah, um, prepare to, um, to see this. It is crazy. Yeah, just know it's after season four. I know I'm saying that over again. I just want to remind you all. All right, what else? Now, uh, trans. This is other series I have. It's supposed to come out next year as well, and it's well, it's supposed to come out in January. But mm, I still gotta get maybe like at least. Brief, maybe like five figures for it. Well, other, it's anyways. It's called Optimus Prime: Desperate Survival. Now, this is a, <clears throat> this is set after the first, very first episode of Generation Season One, where Optimus at the end, Optimus Prime boils off to deal with his own business. Basically, this explores what Optimus Prime was doing, you know, during those early episodes of Generation. You know, when he was gone at the end of Season um, One, as well as being gone, you know. And see, you know, in episode two. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, and you know, it ends off. You know, it's gonna lead into the third episode of season one of Generations. But yeah, this is set after the very first episode of season one of Generations. And the, you know, Optimus Prime. You know, he's just he's back on Earth, but now he has to deal with some threats. And the threats are the Shark Decons and the two Seeker Brothers. Thundercracker and Skywarp. These these are the main villains, though. So. And Austin's Prime is our main hero. So yeah, there's that. So be ready for that though. It's six episodes, easy to do. It's supposed to be a very like a short se- like a short series. So I'm gonna speaking of shorts, I'm gonna do shorts now. So that's happening. Shorts are happening in the future. We're gonna get shorts in the future, so be worried about that. But uh yeah. Austin Des but Optimus Prime, Desperate Survival. Be ready for that. It's coming out next year, y'all. It's coming out next year. When? I can't really say, though. Can't really say. Now, now, now. Primes. Now, Primes, Primes, Primes. Now, Primes is a... This is a film that I'm finna do. Primes is set in the past. So, like, you know, set different... It's set during different periods of time. So, it's set, like, before, you know... Cyber, you know, Primus became Cybertron. It's set before the war, all of that. Actually, ends you know around the war. Actually, like you know when the war is about to start, but it, it begins. You know, Primus. This film begins you know before the war. You know, not before, but you know before there was a bunch of life in Cybertron. You know, like before the formation, before the birth of all Cybertronians. It was like when Unicron was not Unicron. My bad. Well, it was like, you know, sent when Primus was, you know, just like, um, Primus was just chilling. He wasn't even transformed, you know, he was, it wasn't even like built around him. So yeah, there's that. Primes is a, is a film. It was supposed to come out in 2025. But, I may actually have it come out next year. Who knows? But all I'm gonna say is that it's, this, this film, Primes, it's a prelude to the Fallen Saga. And I'll explain why. Nah, I ain't gonna explain why. But it's a prelude. All you didn't know is it's a prelude. It's not part of the Fallen Saga. But it is a prelude to that saga. So yeah, Prime's happening. It's gonna be diving to some rich and you know some some rich history, some rich stuff, you know, about the past, about this universe, or whatever. So yeah, there's that. <clears throat> Damn, what else do I got here? Alright, alright. Oh, I'm gonna get to what? Damn. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
Now, you know how I said there was the fun soccer? Well, there's another soccer that I haven't even talked about. And it's called the Thunderwing Saga. <clears throat> now, this Thunderwing Saga is going to be handled by me and another person. I'm going to be the person who's filming, and, I'm, and the guy that's going to be writing, my, writing this stuff is Lord Mega Andy. He's a homie of mine. He's cool, though. Uh, you know, he's hep he's doing this saga, he, the, the Thunderwing Saga. He's writing it, though. So he's only, he did, the, he's completed the first project, and he's almost done with the second one. So I'm still waiting for him to, you know, get done with the second one and stuff. But yeah, this Thunderwing project is a culmination of a few projects, you know, films and shows. So get ready for that. Well, I'm going to start um, with the first project in this Thunderwing saga. The first project in the Thunderwing saga is Transformers the Book of Lockdown movie. Now this, you know, this is, um, this is set like way in the past, of course. And it's the start of the Thunderwing saga. So like thousands of years in the past though, and yeah, this is about lockdown. This isn't a origin story for lockdown, but it definitely takes place in the past though. So yeah, there's that. Uh, it's coming out November 1st in 2024. So hopefully if you're seeing it right now, if you see it right now, if I'm showing like the date or whatever in which, you know, it comes out, hopefully that date is, co is correct, you know, with what I'm saying. And, uh, huh. Next up. Next up, next up, next up. The next second project, right, is the Mercenaries. Now, this is about the Mercenaries that appeared in Generation Season 3. So, this this is this is connected, of course. So, this takes place after that. We're going to see the formation of the Mercenaries in the Book of Lockdown. So, yeah, that's a sequel to that. It's coming out December 20th of next year. All episodes coming out next year. I want to do that. I want to do that. All episodes will come out next year for the Mercenaries. So get ready for that. It's uh, it's TVMA and it's... Hmm, I think it's dark. It, it has dark. I read the script, so it is pretty dark, though. But it is TVMA. Andy has done a great job with this, and I'm happy. He still has, he still has to finish the first season. But yeah, it's coming out December 20th. And stuff and yeah that's happening all episodes December 20th next year next up suicide cons I forgot the rest of the I forgot the full name of suicide cons but su I think it's called Su suicide cons rise of the three brothers so basically essentially this is like um, about some Decepticons and you know and chaos so this is sort of like a like a, a prison type of show is is the prison type of show? Uh, I don't have no idea when this is coming out, but it's happening. You know? So yeah, it's the same, but it's dark. You know, it's, it's TV. Well, it's probably TV. Man, I don't really know the, how. I don't know what the rating of these other projects is gonna be, but from my understanding, this is dark right here. Suicide Con. It is dark. So yeah, there's that. Next project is Blast Wave. Um, Terrorized City. If that's the name of it. I'm trying to remember y'all. I'm, I'm trying to. But yeah, that's happening. We have a Blast Wave film coming out. And I can't wait for y'all to see that. I already got the figures and stuff. I still gotta get other figures, but that's happening. Could come out in 2025, actually, though. Could, most likely. I could see that coming out in 2025. But yeah. That's Blast Wave. Next project in this Thunderwing saga is Bludgeon. Um, uh, Gaiden City or something? I forgot the name of it. I gotta remember these t titles, man. But yeah, this is so. This is connected, of course, to Blast Wave. So Blast Wave and Bludgeon are brothers. The brothers in your verse. And actually, speaking of Bludgeon, I bought the figure for him. So yeah. Bludgeon is happening. He's gonna film and it's very dark. Well, from all intent, it's dark. And he's working on it, of course. And yeah, it's coming out. I think it may come out in 2025 as well. So I expect that. But of course, it all depends. You know, you know how, you know. Look, I'm just saying, it may mostly come out in 2025. Expect it to. Expect it to. I'll let you know if it won't. 
But I'm expecting to come out until 2025, so we expect that as well. Next up, Transformers Apocalypse. Yeah, Transformers Apocalypse War. Now, um, this I don't. I forgot much about. I forgot. I forgot a lot about. I forgot about that really. But uh, yeah, that's happening. You know, Transformers Apocalypse War. That's a film that's in development by me and Andy for this Thunderwing saga. Yeah, no release date. No release date for that. No release date. Now, next next film, Transformers Endgame. It's in the same boat as Transformers Apocalypse War. No release date. I don't know. I don't really know much about that. Uh, he might most likely show me ideas and stuff for it, but I forgot though. It's been a while. But no release date for that. And I can't really say much about it anyway, so. But that's happening. Next thing in the saga, Barricade the Series. Now, I think he might actually show me some stuff about this, but this is about Barricade. All you know is this is a series about Barricade. And yeah. No release date for that. No, no release date. I have no release date. So, I'll let you know though. I'll let you guys know if that's getting you know, a release date. Next up, the Sideswear movie, if that's even the title. But yes, yeah, it's, it's a movie about Sideswear. That's it. <clears throat> no release date for that. Next up, Junk Keeps. No, no, this is now. This is a, this is a. I think this is a show, maybe. But anyways, this is about the junk heaps, and he wanted to do something about them. So basically, um, <clears throat> yeah, the junk heaps is about the junk heaps. I think there's something about it that I almost told you all, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna speak on it. I'm not gonna speak on it. I'm not gonna speak on it. No, no, no. The next thing. Is the sound wave and B-Boy. Now I know stuff about them. Now this is set in the past. All I can say this explores the relationship, the Autobot and the Subcon relationship, but specifically about B and Soundwave. Yeah, so it, ex it explores that. You know, it's just Yeah, you know, it explores, you know, your a relationship and stuff. Now what is it gonna be like? I can't say much. I can't say much. But all I can say is that this is the film that's happening in Soundwave and B movie. And it's gonna be pretty good though. It's gonna be pretty good. I definitely know some I definitely know some stuff about this one. But I I can't, I can't say it right now. This boy is too much, man. It's too much. Next thing, the last thing I really know in the saga so far that Andy's gonna help out with. This is the last project we, we even thought we even um you know, decide to do the star secrets. Now, this came about after the um, new Hasbro post stuff where you revealed the legacy stuff. Yeah, that's happening. So, yeah. So, yeah, there's that, man. That's the, so far, that's the last feminist sock I could expand, but that's as far as I know. But yeah, there's that right there. Now, now, now. Oh yeah, that's the end of that saga. Now let's get to stuff outside of the saga. Let's just get to regular stuff. Now we finna do it in like a trilogy. Now, this, now the saga finna reveal three projects right now is part of a trilogy. And it's called the, uh, shit, I forgot what it's called though. I forgot what the name of the trilogy is called. You most likely see it. If you're gonna, you're gonna see it. I'm gonna show it on the screen. But uh, yeah, the first film in here is Cogman Truth Be Told. So this this is a horror trilogy. This is this is a horror trilogy. So it's I'm doing horror stuff now. For now on, I'm gonna do horror projects, a horror a horror saga, basically. Bunch of horror projects. You getting that in this universe? Bunch of horror projects in the future. For now on, you get horror projects. And uh, Cogman Truth Be Told, right? It's the first film in this right here. So, so essentially, it's about Cogman, you know, his um, his you know his his ability to see into the future and stuff, and that's gonna be like it's gonna be a, it's gonna be scary. That's it. It's gonna be creepy. It's gonna be dark. Yeah, the release date. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking the release date maybe 2027. Could have. Could. 
take it back to 2025. You never know. But yeah, that's happening. Jay Washcraft's voice actor. I think he actually agreed. Yeah, he agreed. I actually asked him, like, do you want to come back as Cogman for, you know, some future projects? And he agreed. So yeah, there's that. Second project in this trilogy, Tolai. I think I had the plot in mind, but I'm gonna have to look at everything about that. But it is part. It's the second thing in the trilogy, and it's about the yeah, Alba Tolai. So yeah, there's that man. I think you're all gonna enjoy it. Third, third project in this trilogy, um, Asylum. Now this is a crossover event, so basically. Cogman's film and Toline's film was gonna lead into this this third film where they meet another character. And you know, these three characters, Cogman, Toline, the character they finna meet, uh oh. Which shit, I forgot his name, but you most likely gonna see it on screen, so I'm gonna put it right there at the, at the top. If you even seeing that. Maybe I won't. Maybe I I don't know if I have a picture, but if you if you know if I'm showing you like, you know, the name or whatever of the character, then but let's just Cogman, Tolai, and a third character. And they can be this in this um this assignment, right? Basically like in the style of um of new mutants. I'm basing off of that new mutants, you know, first ever trailer. You know, you know, before they released the movie like sixty years later. But yeah, it's a very uh tense movie, very dark, very gritty, very scary, very it's rated R too. And uh Yeah, it's a psychological thriller. It's gonna mess with your head a bit, but it's gonna be good. And I can't wait to work on that. <clears throat> Release date for that and toe line. Most likely, I say probably, hmm, I wanted to say 2027, but I may be pushing it for 2025. I'll let you know when it's coming out. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that. That trilogy. Now, now, now. Here's a fun little project. Dreads. Now, Dreads is about the Dreads. So the Dreads exist in the universe. They appear in generations. And probably will be. And they're going to appear in other stuff. But yeah, this is about the Dreads. You know, they like doing criminal stuff. It's a fun little stop motion film. And yeah, I would say they're doing criminal stuff. And we're going to see them have like more shots in this. So yeah. Sorry about that. Don't worry about that. But yeah, dreads. That's gonna be a little fun and amazing. I think you all like that. No release date yet. But I'll let you all know. Now, 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 now. We finally get into the Fallen Saga. Now, the Fallen Saga, right? <clears throat> I already told you what you need to know about it. No, like kind of what it's about, but I ain't tell you what the projects to be about, you know, be in it, and what those projects to be about. So let's get to it. So the Fallen Saga, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna state this: Fallen Saga is be split into three arcs. So the, so the first arc is is about Rampage. Rampage is not a predicate in this. The second arc will be about Turmoil, and the third arc will be the Fallen. So. Arc 1 is titled Rampage, Arc 2 is titled Turmoil, and Arc 3 is titled uh, The Fallen, or Fallen, it's titled Just Fallen, Arc 3 is titled Fallen. So, the first project in this entire, in, you know, in this entire saga, as you know, as well as, you know, the, the first arc in the saga, is, um, there's no title for this project, but it's essentially it's a, it's a female-driven project. No woke stuff. It's ain't woke, it's for fun. But, uh, yes, essentially it's, um... Yeah, so it's about these female Autobots to go on a mission. It's a rescue mission. This is sort of like filler, but it's a startup. This is the filler project. This is a, this is a filler project, but it is the start of the saga. As well as this arc, so it's the very first start, like the actual start. But it is feeling, so it doesn't really contribute much. But it's pretty fun. Prime, I have a writer for that. I'm the film. and it's Prime Minute. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I give it the reins to do this. And I think 
She gonna do a great job. Now, next up though. Now we have one, two, three, and four projects that's also take place in this arc. I have no idea what they're gonna be about. I don't know what it's gonna be about. I don't know what's gonna happen to it, but I have a writer for it. Shane Productions. He's the homie, right? And he's gonna work on it. We actually talked about this in May. I talked about this to May him and, and to him in May. And you know, I, I gave him the reins to do this, so he's gonna do it whenever, you know, he has time to do it whenever he can. So I trust him. So Shane Productions, he's our guy for that. Now the last film in this arc is titled The Harvesting. Now this is this is Rampage's film. So essentially, Rampage, right? I'm all okay, right. Before I get to it, let me make something clear. Every villain in in this uh, entire saga, you know, as well as the arcs that's part of the saga, all of them that's that is in this entire saga, they all work for the Fallen. So just want to make that clear. Every villain, each every villain in the saga, works for the Fallen, and whatever they're doing in here is what the Fallen told them to do. So yeah that's, yeah, that's that. But the harvest is basically about rampage going around and harvesting sparks. Now why though? I can tell you why. But all I want to tell you is that it's just about him going around harvesting sparks. There's that. But yeah, that's the last project in this arc of this entire of this saga. Now let's get to the second half of the saga, which is called Turmoil. You know, which is the second arc, which is called Turmoil. Now, now, now. <clears throat> I don't need to pull the paper. I'm going to pull the paper. I already know what the, what the second project looks like. So the second project is called MK Ultra. So, you know, like, so the first, like the first section, aka Arc 1, took place thousands of years in the past. Whereas the beginning of this arc, you know, which is Arc 2 Turmoil, it takes place, it starts in the year 2004. So this is, so this first film in this arc, his title, MK Ultra. So it's so it's, it's basically about after Optimus Prime leaves Earth, you know, after Transformers arrival, because the end of Transformers arrival, you know, last episode takes place in 2004. So since the last episode of Gen not Gen but with the last episode of Transformers arrival taking place in 2004, Optimus Prime leaves Cybertron to go back to his, to his you know his allies from Willie to see if everything was good, because he wants to go back on Cybertron to help. But when he comes back to Cybertron, he discovers that something is wrong, something is odd. And you know, he uncovers this thing, this basically mind control thing. So this this is mind control stuff. This is mind control stuff. I messed it up. Mind control stuff going on. And so it's like secret invasion here. So in here, right, in MK Ultra, there you gotta make sure who you can trust. You can't trust anyone really. You can't do that. Anyone can be a mole. So it could be your very own armor. Jazz could be a mole. Really could be a mole. So yeah, it's just that situation though. So yeah, it's about who you trust. Yeah. It's, it's about who you trust in here. And they got to uncover this mind control stuff. So it's very, it's very intense. So if you all like that, it's more stuff about this, of course, that I know about it. But I'm keeping it to myself. Just for right now. Just into his time to actually reveal more stuff. So that's all you need to know. MK Ultra. Second film. Uh, hold on. Damn, what is the second film? I have the second film in here actually. It's, it should be in. I have it on Discord actually. I have like a list of the stuff, you know, that I I keep. Okay. It's, uh, okay. 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 The nomination. Now. The nomination is, is about a cult, right? So, um, this cult is a division. So basically, like, um, in the second, in this, in this, in, you know, this, this arc, which is arc two turmoil, we're going to explore Nazi Transformers. So we're going to have, like, Nazi-like Transformers. And basically, this cult is a division. It's a separate, it's a separate division. Because there's multiple Nazi divisions, you know, in this, this arc, right? In the, and the coat is one of them. So this coat is it's a coat, man. All I can say is that um somebody all I can say is it's a coat. It's a coat project. 
Somebody had an idea for it. One of my guys had an idea for it. So he's most likely going to help out with it. I already got someone to help out with it. But he came up with an idea, though. So, you know, got someone to do that. I'm most likely going to film that, though. But he's helping out with that. I don't know who's going to film it, but he's helping out with that. He had an idea, though. So, yeah. I'll be right back. Sorry. My mom needed me for a second. But... Let's get to that. I don't even need to use the papers right now. Maybe not. Now I don't need to use the papers. I got this card right here. So, there's that. All you need to know, that's all you need to know about denomination. Next up, Metal Hawk. Quest and Pursuit. This is a film. Um, I got a director for that. And I got a writer for that. But one of the guys that did the idea for Domination came up with an idea for Metal Hawk. And I only used, you know, one person, like, 1% of his ideal in here, but um, most likely I'm gonna have to probably make it a part to make a sequel to Metal Hawk and have the guy who one of the guys who had an idea that I put their percentage in there, I'm gonna have to have him do the sequel. And it's an option though, because I don't, don't want to have to lead them, like I don't want to have to separate them, like damn bro, you did a good job, but I don't want you to work on this at all. So, and you know, the way how Metal Hawk ends, like it makes sense to have a sequel, but uh. Metal Hawk Quest and Pursuit. So this is um So basically this is about uh the Autobot Metal Hawk. Let me read this to you. After the Autobot Metal Hawk finds out about the Nazi organization, the Nazis hunt him down over the information that he now has about them. Hmm. But that was that was my guy's first idea for guy who I used percentage of that was his ideal. But here's the actual ideal. No, no, here's not ideal, but here's the actual part. That's what you know. Um, well, mm, shit, you know, I ain't gonna go too much. But all you need to know is that um, Metal Hawk, right, he got some information, right, about the Nazis, and now he's being hunted down. He's being hunted down because of that information. So, bam, that's it. He's being hunted down, and that's, that's it. He's being hunted down for the information that he got from the Transformers Nazi organization. So yeah, there's that. Now, no, 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 no. Next up, next up, next up. What's down here? Hmm. Okay, we good now. Okay. So yeah, um, about the Middle Hawk thing, no release date, of course, but I'm gonna let you know how that is. Like I said, got a director and writer for that, so we cool. So next project, Hot Shot Armada. If you get the, if you get the. Type you understand the title? That's if you understand the reference. That's cool. I shot in Armada. You, you, you must get it. But um, essentially, here's the plot: the Autobot Hot Shot is sent on a mission by Optimus Prime to go undercover and spy and dig deep into all the undercover. Uh, out, nah, my, look, he's just on a mission by Optimus Prime to spy on the Nazis. And to uncover information that they may need, you know, to just understand everything. So he comes across an artifact, he steals it, boom, you know, now he's being hunted down, and bam, that's it. But yeah, I got director for that, TF Concepts. Once the script done, I'm gonna let him see it, and there's that. Hmm. That's all you need to know about it. Shit, sure, something happened. But yeah, um, that's it about Hot Shot Armada. That's all you need to know about Hot Shot Armada. So yeah. Next project, Transform Supremacy. This is about the, the whole Nazi organization as a whole. And, you know, what they do and what's going on with them. Now, you will see some real-life Nazi stuff in here. Now, I'm going to take this because you're going to see some real-life stuff in here. So. But you know, I'm going to handle it well. Handle it with care. It's good, though. Trust me, how they would care. It's gonna be good though. It's gonna be good. But yeah, it's about that that organization and whatever, this this transformers Nazi organization. They also inspired by Hydra though, which is base which is a Nazi organization, which is basically Nazis, not basically, but they are Nazis in the MCU. And I think even in like in the comics though. But yeah, we're gonna be doing that. Next project, cross wait, cross cut, the final sacrifice. So it's basically about the Autobot Crosscut. He's the survivor of the um, Cybertronian Holocaust, right? By the Nazis, of course. And uh, 
now he wants to go and exact his revenge on those people who put him through that torture because he, he he escaped the whole organization and now he's, he's he's mad so he's trying to go back and get payback for what they've done to him which of course he's trying to shut down the whole um, system you know whole holocaust stuff because this is happening it's still happening you know around the time he's getting ready to get revenge so yeah there is that uh, I already got a director for that Marvel's Prime I'll be writing that but yeah that's all you need to know about that it's very dark it's very emotional it's very good it's very deep it's very good and a little bit Karen it's perfect mm, it's Jeff's kiss it's perfect you're gonna like this one next up Stormshot New Beginning this is set right after um, uh, right after Cross cut final sacrifice. Essentially, um, Stormshot is he, you know, he he got free. I'm gonna tell you that at the end, he gets free. At the end of Cross Cut's film, he gets free. And in his film, in um, Stormshot, the beginning, Stormshot, you know, he's trying to get back on his feet after you know being treated harshly, you know, after the trauma, though. So yeah, he's trying to get back up on his feet after the trauma. You know, it's just about you know, um, it's basically a hopeful story. So yeah, this is you know hope and stuff. So yeah, this is very very emotional, very good. You know, I like this one. I got a dude who doing that. Uh, Iron Man Studios. I forgot the rest of his numbers, but it's Iron Man Studios something. But yeah. He's my guy. He's going to be doing that. Okay, okay. Now, Grigerberg, uh, or whatever. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but... Um, excuse me. This is about... So, basically, this film is about... Be right back. I keep getting interrupted again. I keep getting interrupted. But, back to this Grigerberg. I don't know. But this is, this is about a character, right? This is a Nazi general, right? Not that the main... You know... Nazi general, but you know, like someone that, you know, um, you know, was, you know, second command, second in command. The big Nazi general is Turmoil, though. So, you know, he's, he's a big Nazi general. Basically, Turmoil put her in second command. So she's a Nazi general, but she, she's not like big like Turmoil. But yeah, she's a Nazi general, and this is about, you know, her, her journey, you know, what she, you know, um, you know her journey in it. It's about her journey in this in this organization and stuff. So yeah, and that's the name of the character, Greedjibber or something. It's 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 this strong on repaint that was from the uh, the um, Transformers R.I.D. 2015 adventure line. So there's that. That's all, that's all I can say about this film. Next up, Beachcomber No Way Out. Now Beachcomber No Way Out is is, is a film. Um, it's about the Alba Beachcomber, right? He's stuck in the simulation. And basically, he doesn't know it until he finds out later. So something's going to go wrong. Something in the, sim something in the simulation is going to go wrong. That's going to have him be like, wait, what the? This is a simulation. And he's going to meet other bots who already know about the simulation and try to put an end to it. And basically, the Nazis. All right, the Nazis? They're in charge of the simulation. So they put a lot of, they grab a ton of people, right? And they put them in here. So this is the only film that takes place in, in the simulation. Is that? So yeah, and that's all I can say about the beach comment. No way out. I'll be fully working on that as well with Grigia Bird, whatever. And yeah, I'll be working on that and Grigia Bird. Both those are mine. All right, all right, here's the next one. Bravo. All right, read that. All right, yeah, Bravo is a, is a film about this this little sub-team that Optimus Prime put together. So essentially, the sub-team, right, let, you know, is on a mission by Optimus Prime. Their mission is to, um, is to stop the Nazis' final uprising. 
you know, after they respond to them. So, you know, every, you know, Optimus, you know, had this little sub team, you know, Optimus, and, you know, his little sub team, well, mostly Optimus and the Autobots have responded to this Nazi organization for a long time, you know, for some time now. And, uh, yeah, so now, you know, this little sub team, they can, they can try to stop the final uprising. That's all I can say about that. And this film is, is, is titled Bravo. I, I said that already, but I need to state that again. Bravo. That's the name of this. That's the name of this film. Bravo. I fully work on that as well. So I, I got handed that on. So yeah. And last film in this in this arc. And last film in the in the terminal arc. Transformers New World Order. So uh you know the Nazis they have fully risen, right? They're like they get ready, like they already ready to do world domination. But you know, you know, Turmoil, right? He's like the the guy who's in charge of the whole organization. So, you know, uh yeah, he's in charge of the whole organization because, of course, the Fallen had him to do that. He was basically like, hey, bro, I need you to do this right now. We we need to do this right here. We need to make this work. You need to do me a favor. You need to go out and build an organization that's built on world domination. And, you know, Termal, like the, like the henchman he is to the Fallen, he did it. He created a whole organization, a Nazi organization. So, of course, you know, you deal with the Autobots and whatever, and yeah, that's it. The Autobots have to stop this uprising to remote and send, you know, his organization, you know, from, you know, getting that uprising off the ground fully. So, yeah, there's that. That's all you need to know about that. Now, now, now. <clears throat> Last arc in this entire saga, which is arc three, title. Arc three, Fallen. Well, title, Fallen. So, Arc three, um, the first film in here, right? It's Blue Streak. So this, I'm gonna say this this first film, right? I'm gonna say it takes place in. All you know is that the last film in this third arc ends in 2016. So yeah, but yeah, this first film, Blue Streak, is about on the. It's about the Autobot Blue Streak. So, essentially, Blue Streak, right? He's just chilling. And, you know, um, he, he goes out on a hunt, right? So, the reason he goes out on a hunt is, is because um, he was kind of a shootout. So then, boom, he's like, okay, I can't I can do this anymore. So now, he got, he, now I got to go and take on these criminals. So, essentially, Blue Streak. The Blue Streak, that's the name of the film. So Blue Streak is about the yeah, about Blue Streak going on a, on a manhunt after being caught in a shootout. So basically it's this shootout. You know, he, he was caught in a shootout. So this this unknown these unknown bad guys, they were trying to kill him. So yeah, he goes as like John Wick style. So, you know, something happens and boom, now he has to go out and get rid of the people. So yeah, it's, it's like in the style of John Wick. So it's, it's like John Wick. That's all you need to know. About that, <clears throat> about this film Blue Streak. So these henchmen, right? They're going out and killing people because the Fallen, you know, Fallen, you know, wants to now. He, it's like he wants to he, basically he wants all Autobots gone now. In this, in this third sec, in this third arc, so now he wants the Autobots all gone. He just wants them gone, completely gone. He wants every Autobot on Cybertron gone. This most likely include non Autobots. So the Subtacons, most likely not. As Subtacons aren't really actually present in this. Maybe one or two, but they aren't actually present in this saga at all. So, yeah, that's all you need to know about Blue Street. It's just like John Wick. You know, Blue Street is going out after the people who try, you know, try to kill him in a, in, you know, in a shootout. There's that. That's all you need to know about that. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to the second film Servitude. So this is just a slavery film. This is a slavery film. That's all I can say. It's just a slavery film. And it and it ties in Yeah, it ties into the Blue Streak film. So it's a slavery film that ties to the Blue Streak. I got full hands on that, just like I do with Blue Streak. So yeah, I got hands on fully on Blue Streak and Server 2. 
Let's argue about 32 in this. As far as I'm gonna go. Next up, next up, disclose. Now this is about an Autobot who Blue Street met on his journey in the Blue Street film. And this Autobot's clamp down. So clamp down. It's now finna. What does it say? Yeah, he's now out to dig deep on what Blue Street went out to discover and went out to take on. So yeah, there's that. But in doing such, he discovers something horrible going down. I can't tell you much about that, but I got it down right there. I can't tell you what it, what the horrible thing he is, but it's horrible. I'll tell you right now, it's, it's experimentations. It's experimentations. That's the horrible thing. Experimentations. Now, what experimentations are they? I'm not going to say it at all. I'm not going to say it at all. Not at all. Not even at the end of this. Not here. Not at all. You have to wait until more information comes out. Next, next film, next film, Exertion. This is about all the experiments. This is, this is, this is fully about the experiments that was, you know, in Clamps Down film, and Clamp Down's film. This is only about that. I got fully, I fully got hands on that, so, yeah. That's all you need to know about Exertion. That's all you need to know about it. So, f next film, right? Fifth film. In this in this arc, it's called Fati's Bargain. So Fati's Bargain, right? This is about an Autobot who makes a deal with a demonic entity that works for the fallen. Of course, like every villain here, I've stated that many times. And since after this bot makes a deal, something happens to him, and a, a virus hits his body, and now he's a victim of it. So there is that, and uh, this virus, right, is gonna be the start of of, of a virus, of course, that's infinite, nothing to talk about in a bit. I got fully, I got full, my hands are fully on to this project, so I'll be fully doing this one. Now, the Animus. This is the virus film, so let me talk about the Animus. The Animus, here's, the, here's what it's about. The film is fully about the virus, known as, no, let me read. This film is fully about the virus, now that the virus is going around and infecting bots. So the way the virus works is that someone gets it and their consciousness is killed and replaced by this demonic AI virus. Some call this virus the Mark of the Beast, but it goes by its code name and only name. And its code name is the Animus. I got hands on that fully. So you good here. Now the next film, right? Blue Point. This film is about an Autobot who faces a victim of the Animus. He isn't aware of the virus. By the way, Blow, mm, Blow Point survives this film. I'm just, I, I gotta state that. He survives this film. I know this may be disappointing. Like, damn, bro, you really have to spoil that? But I'm, you know, to the people who are actually saying that, I'm, I'm you're gonna learn why in a bit, actually. But yeah, that's all I need about Blow Point. Now, no, no. Oh, yeah, by the way. The Autobot in this film, in the Blowpoint film, is named Blowpoint, so there's that. Now the next, ne next film is Terminate. Not not Terminate, but Dispatch and Terminate. Dispatch is a ter in Terminate. It's about two Autobots aware of the Animus, now going out of their way to take it down. Their names are Pablo and Tilk. They survived the film. I'll be writing and directing this one. So, yeah, so I'm going to tell you something. So, with low point, I'm gonna use the Rise of the Beast Mirage, right? So that's gonna be like an original character. And for Pablo and Tilk, for Pablo, I'm gonna be using the Rise of the Beast hmm, Wheeljack, the Lux Studio Series Wheeljack, or, you know, we're gonna, you know, or some of you, what you guys call Pablo. And then for Tilk, I'm gonna use the Moby Movie, the Lux Class Ratchet. There's that. Now, now, there's all you need to know about that, about Dispatch and Terminator. Next, next, next film. <clears throat> Excuse me. Death Rattle. So, Death Rattle is about an Autobot named Fask, who's on his last leg against the victim of the Animus. Fast isn't aware of what the Animus is. Fast survives the film. I'll be writing the rhythm this one. Now, 
The figure I'm used for Fast, uh, the figure I'm used for this original character Fast is gonna be the last night, the Lust Class Hot Rod from the last night. I just said the last night. Yeah, that's it. Now, Fast and Lost Family, because guess what? It's gonna lead to another film called Team B. Alright, anyways, this film Team B, right? Team B is a series about a team going around. The team name is, is Team B. But Team B, right? This team is going around taking on victims of the Animus. They specialize in taking down the Animus. This team consists of, of Blue Streak, because Blue Streak is the leader. Blow Point, he's like just, just to show off. Vask, uh, hmm. he's like, he just, he's just the guy, just like the soldier. You're the average soldier. Pablo, he's the nerd. And Tilk, he's, he's the brawn. Tilk is the brawn. So, yeah. Blue Street brought them together because, you know, I mean, you know, the animus and stuff. So, yeah. But, I'll, but you'll learn more about that later on. So, yeah, he, he brought the team together because they, you know, you know, he brought them together after firing on about the animus. And you know, they really, you know, how they dealt with the animus. And he's like, hmm, shit. We all have something in common here. How about we come together as a team and then put an end to, the, to this this virus? I'd be writing fully directing this one. So I got that one. Conquer in the snare. Uh, a snare. Now, this this is about Fask, right? This this has nothing to do, well, this has nothing to do. I'm going to tell you what it's about. Actually, instead of just telling you, like, nah, 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 whatever. But Conquering the Snare, this film is about Fast trying to prevent a random uprising. That's all you need to know about that. I got fully, fully hands on that right there. Full hands on deck with this one. So, yeah. All right, let's get to another one. Operation Takedown. This is about Pablo on a special mission. The mission is to take down a villain who's trying to build a device to <clears throat> that has something to do with the animus. I can't tell you why. This device is a signal, but it actually has something to do with demonic. You know what I mean, hmm. I'm gonna stop right there. All you need to do is just it's just it's just about Pablo trying to take. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's about Pablo trying to take down someone who's trying to build a signal. That has a relationship with the animus. So that's all you need to know. Next film. Date with Hell. This is about Tilk. On a mission to take down the last of the animus. That's all you need to know about that. I got fully hands on deck with that one. As well as Operation Takedown. I'll probably take that right there. Next film. Wicked Nature. Wicked Nature is about the rest of Team B. That being Blue Streak and Blue Point. On a mission to find the others that went missing. I'm not going to tell you why, though. I'm not going to tell you why, though. But all you know is they go on a mission to find out where the others have gone missing. That's all you need to know. No, no, no. Now we get into some other stuff. Right here. Old Man Skyfire. Now, this is about the, um, the former servant of the Fallen. Skyfire now tries to stop the stuff that the Fallen has Going down all across Cybertron, but he is greeted by demonic henchmen of the following. The series deals with demonic stuff. I got a guy working on that. His name is TFTLK. Well, I can't, I can't say his name, though. but I'm not going to say his name, but I got a guy working on that. I got a guy working on that. That's it. He's helping out with that, but yeah. That's, I can't tell you more about Old Man Skyfire. That's all you need to know about it. So aim dame or I, I gotta learn how to pronounce this word. So this film is all about the demonic stuff that that just risen, showing you know, showing old man sky fight and wicked nature. So it's all about that right there. I uh, fully work on that. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Wow, we're getting close to the end, man. Getting close to the end. We're getting close to the end. Prevention. This is a spinoff of Old Man Firebuyer. No, I botched this name so many times. But this is a spinoff of Old Man Skyfire. And this spinoff is about someone 
who Skyfire knows that wants to prevent all the demonic stuff from going on. I, a guy came up with an idea for this. He's, he's going to be working on it, so. So, yeah. I got I got someone who want to help out with that one. Now, Demon Savant. <clears throat> this film is about an Autobot who's on his last leg trying to survive a demon-like thing that he doesn't know about. I'll be fully working on this one. That's all you need to know about Demon Savant. But this is about, I already told you what it's about. You know what it's about. You know what it's about. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm doing another film after this. And this is a sequel to Demon Survivor called Demon Hunter. And this is about the same Autobot that was in Demon Survivor. So, this is his sequel. So, Demon Survivor is about the, the Autobot who's, who's still the main character. Now, hunting down the demon like things, he doesn't run for danger anymore. He faces it. That's all you need to know about it. I, except. Here's one thing you need, there's something new you need to know about. I work on it fully. So I got that one. No, 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 Warfare. Here's another film, Warfare. Warfare is about an Autobot who's been in battle with a force for some time now. I'll be working on it fully. That's all you need to know about Warfare. Here's another, here's another thing. <clears throat> Transformers Cold Tension. This is a six episode series about a war that's been going on. It has something to do with everything in this arc. Now, um, hmm. Well, yes, yeah, all you need to know. Like, also, I'll be working on it myself only. But yes, yeah, all you need to know about Transformers Cold Tension. That's all you need to know about it. <clears throat> now, no, 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 no. Here's something. Here's the next film. Blue Street 2. So Blue Street, you know, has been gone for some time now. Trying to piece together everything that's been going on so far. Of course, he now right now after that he gets eventually involved while looking for a replacement. Wado can say. But anyways, he's gone mad a bit. And uh, you know, in this film they try to contact Optimus Prime, but of course that works, so now they gotta deal with this mess by themselves. I'll fully be working on that one as well. That's all you need to know about Blue Strip 2. That's all you need to know. So, Insurrection. Here's the next one. Insurrection. Insurrection. This film is about the Fallen's Uprising being treated as a cult and a prophecy thing. We will see bots join us. We may even see bots being killed everywhere, which is likely Basically a recruit thing. I'll be fully working on this as well. Or maybe I won't. I think I will actually work on that. I gotta remember. But this is all you need to know about insurrection. That's all you need to know about it. <clears throat> Next film. The Wreckers. Now, now, now. I didn't even get to the Wreckers show. You know, I don't think. But anyways, uh, The Wreckers, right? This is a film about the Wreckers. Uh, they will come across one of the following demonic henchmen known as Cyclops. And Cyclops' plan is to be the signal for the fallen to rise so he can finally destroy it. So he can, he can finally rise. That's it. He's trying to. Cyclops is trying to be the signal for the fallen so he can finally rise. But the, you know, the records take note of this and now they have to stop Cyclops. Or else they're doomed. That's, I'm fully working on this one as well. I need to know about it. About this one. So I need to know. Hmm. Okay, what else do I got here? Alright, alright, alright. Well, here's the last film in this arc, aka this entire saga. Transformers Rise of the Fallen. Said directly after the records, the Fallen now wait, 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 let me read this up. Transformers, the Rise of the Fallen. Said directly after the records, the Fallen now rises and sets its sights on, on spreading mayhem all across the universe. He's out and can do whatever he wants. He comes in conflict with the Autobots who want to stop him. This includes the likes of Optimus Prime, the Wreckers, Blue Streak, Bronze, Skyfire, and many more. The Autobots, um, the, uh, all right, the Autobots now aware of what's going down and such, they band together to stop him once and for all. 
That's, that's all you need to know about this film. Except, well, I'm working on it myself fully. But this film takes place in 2016, you know, in order to not conflict with Prime and Willie or any other project, per se. So, yeah, there's that. So, um, this film takes place in 2016, the last film in this entire saga and this third arc. So, yeah, there's that, man. And, um, and, uh, and, uh, bam. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all you need to know about this film. Don't worry about the back. I hope you heard me though. But if you hear me, replay this. Replay it back, please. But yes, all you need to know about Transformers: Rise of the Fallen. It's gonna be good, man. It's gonna be good. And yeah. But uh, shit. Man, what else do I have to? Well, hmm. I think this that could be it actually. Hmm. Is that it? Man, dang it, I think that's probably it though. Could that be it? it? Well, huh, that's it for the Fallen Saga. Hope you all like that right there, but I'm not done yet. There's still some more stuff I need to get to. Now, now, now. Here's some other projects that are outside of that saga. Now, 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 now. Uh, so basically, um, remember Transformers Nightmare? Wait, no, no, man, I'm gonna get to the last. So next, some next, not film, but the next year stuff I'm gonna do, right? Is Shattered Glass. Now, Shattered Glass is gonna be a 13 episode series. It's gonna be dark. TVMA. It's not gonna be light horror at all. It's gonna be dark. So basically, I'm, you know, Shattered Glass, right? Because the generation. Hang on a second. But uh, Shattered Glass, right? I'm gonna. It's gonna be a 13 episode series though, and uh, it's pretty good. I think you all gonna like that one. Like, yo, I guess I started getting fingers for that, right? I can't tell you, I can't show you anything yet. That's, yeah. Next, so yeah, that's all you need about Shadow Glass. But wait, hold on. In Shadow Glass, right? So the Autobots, like, they're different, right? This is gonna be like, of course, they're different, but in here, they're different. Optimus Prime, the main guy right here. He's he's absolutely nutty in the head, man. Like he's he's a he's an evil dictator. His one of his favorite things he like do is trophy hunting. And you know, you know what thing he does? The bad trophy hunting thing he loves to do? He loves to take people's faces as trophies. See what I did there? No. That's his thing right there. He is incredibly insane, man. He'll do whatever it takes to succeed in his own plans. He'll do whatever he can and what if he will. To ensure his survival, to ensure his goals like succeed, even if it means killing his own people, he would do anything, man. He do anything that he thinks is good. That's how his mind. That's that's how his mind. That's how that's how his mind works. Don't worry about that. But yeah, it's all you need to know about shattered glass. But yes, yeah, completely different. I actually got voice actors for that, so. Um, Steven Lawson, he's doing Optimus Prime, so that's cool. And then I got a voice actor for Megatron. Um, uh, Fortress, Mac, Fortress Max and IEW, but he doesn't go by that name anymore. It's just Fort Max Films. I can't tell you any more of the voice actors and stuff, but all I can say that this is, this is completely different. Something different. It's, it's grounded, too. It is grounded, too. I already know what it's going to be like. Y'all going to like me. Now, 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 next, next thing I'm gonna do is the Autobot Security Force. I'm gonna do Autobot Security Force TV series. Now, this is about an, the um the same the Autobot Police Force unit that appears in Transformers: War Within, and we're gonna explore that. So we're gonna explore that right there, and that's it. You know, shoot, next project, almost this next project I was gonna almost talk about was Beast Wars, but I already talked about that. But uh, next project, right? Squadron X, and essentially Squadron X is a well, it's, it's, it's um, I guess you could say it's a prequel to Record Tears. So in Squadron X, right, it's about this team, right? And uh, no, my version of Squadron X. I tried to find figures for Squadron X that appeared in IEW comics, but 
I couldn't find it. And one, I did find one though, but he was, and he was really expensive. And I think I might have found another one, but he was hard to find. And even though I found it, he was really expensive. So I, I just did my own squatching next. So yeah, this squatching SP will consist of eight members. And you will see them up at the top. You will see them on the screen though. So yeah, those will be the members of Squadron X. All eight of them. And uh, Squadron X will be the main villains of the record season three. So there's that man. They're incredibly crazy. Insane. But you know what? If you all, you know, read the IEW comics, then you already know how they are. But yeah. This is the prequel to the record season three. Anyway, now next time I'm gonna do a series of, of deep projects, of deep projects. So one of these projects will be death. It'll deal with you know the, you know just deal with death. That's it. That's all you need to know. I got hands on this with death, with Squadron X, the Honorable Security Force, and with Shattered Glass. Those I got hands on with. Next film in this this deep sort of you know deep um series thing that I'm doing. It's called Secrets. It's all about secrets. I'm be fully working on it as well. That's all you need to know about it. Next thing you know, here's here's another thing. This isn't part of the whole deep you no know, series stuff, but this is sort of like a standalone. But it's a pretty interesting idea. Brotherhood of Brothers Trust. Brotherhood of Brothers Trust is a it's a film about the importance of brotherhood. You know how good and you know just how important it is. So it dives deep into brotherhood. And it'll dive deep into some stuff that you might not even expect. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be scared to, to you know do some stuff that that I'm that you know a normal person I know that you know someone may casually be afraid to do. So I'm gonna get there. So it's gonna be part of some brotherhood. So you know how important brotherhood is in real life. We know that. So we're gonna see that in this in this film. We're gonna see that. And I'm gonna tell you, the, I'm gonna tell you some of the characters that me in there: Sideswipe, Sunstreaker, Springer, Robuster, and even Bulkhead. And it's gonna be a slew of other characters, but it's gonna mostly involve Brotherhood. It's gonna be very heavy war, but it's mostly heavy. No, it's not, right? it's, of course, you don't see war, but it's gonna be heavy on Brotherhood. Just Brotherhood, the importance of Brotherhood. That's the main. That's the main driving point of this entire thing, because that's what it's about. <clears throat> But anyways, let's get to these other two projects. These, this is this is fun. This these two projects mean say it's fun. So, so I'm doing a swerve series. I'm doing a swerve series. So this swerve series, right? I forgot if you probably seen it on the screen right on the name of it. But anyways, this swerve series is about swerve and it's we know about him with his bar and stuff. So it's very fun. I got fully hands on that. Same with Brotherhood of Brothers Trust, but I probably mentioned that already. But with a Swerve Boy comedy series, you know, it's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be comedy driven. So I'd say come on maybe next year actually. So expect to probably come on next year. That's all I can say about this. Now <clears throat> here's another thing. Swerve's Boy ad, that's through the name of it. This is not, this is the fun thing. This is an ad for Swerve's Boy. So this is an ad, an in-universe ad. So yeah. By the way, this Swerve's Boy, you know, the ad and the Swerve series, they all take place way before the war. So yeah. Why do I? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say, it, I'm not gonna say it yet. But this takes place way before the war, you know. And this is an ad. And this ad is pretty good. It's fun. I wanted to do an ad, man. So yeah, there's that. I want to make that work. So yeah, this ad is it's happening. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna come out next year too, which makes sense because it's easiest to do. Hell, come out maybe shoot. You may never know. It can come out next week, but don't expect that. Actually, don't don't expect it. I can say it can come out anytime though, as it's, it's it can come out anytime. There's that. That's all you need to know about it. And yeah, mommy. Next thing we're gonna next thing I'm gonna get to is the seekers. The seekers. This film is called Seekers. Now this film is just about the seekers. I'll fully work on that, but it's, it's about the seekers, man. It's about the seekers. That's it, man. That's all I have to say right there. It's about the seekers. Yeah. 
Anyways, Limbo. Now, Limbo, who? This is this is a good film. You know, Limbo was gonna go in. It was two durations in which I was gonna take Limbo. So Limbo was gonna either go in, um, you know, very dark, like a, like a very uh, you know just like a psychological um, path, or I was gonna go in the time travel path, basically. You know, Limbo, the Limbo, you know, the time travel thing, and the old Transformers G One comics where. You time travel and then you get sent, but you get sent to this place called Limbo. I think it was because you time travel too much or whatever. It's a sci-fi time traveling, but essentially in the time travel stuff. If you notice, there's these creatures, right? These these um parasites, these parasites or whatever. So they feed on people who enter that void, that limbo. So yeah, they they in, so people who enter limbo get fed on. And so I almost went with that, but I decided not to do that. I could I will always I could always come back to that later. Because, you know, time travel is being a thing now since, you know, thanks to um, Beast Wars and um, and the Rumble series. But uh, Limbo, yeah. What Limbo is going to be about is going to be like, you know, like a, like a deep thing. It's going to be a deep story. I got hands on that too, though. So, yeah. No. Now, here's another fun project. Uh, I'm getting close, though, to the end, though. I'm doing like maybe six projects? Maybe ten? I don't know. Look, I made like at least ten. Let's go with ten. But well, anyways, this next project I'll be working on myself. It's called Swin, not Swin, but it's called Toxic Temptations. So Toxic Temptations is about swindle and be now becoming a drug lord, trying to get rich off of drugs. And these drugs that he's selling, right? They are very addictive. They are going around and just messing people up. So it's very addictive, very messed up. So swindle, right? He's making money off of this. He's trying to become the richest person on Cybertron. And it's working though. So that's the thing. He's trying to become the richest Cybertron bot. Given you know, the selling this 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 very strong drug. And that's what he wants. That's what Swindle wants. He wants the money. So he will make people's lives miserable. And we know Swindle's a drug dealer. If you watch generations, then you've seen Swindle sell drugs, he even do drugs himself, but have you seen a film where he sold drugs and became a drug lord, a drug kingpin, and made people's lives miserable? And had this this drug be so powerful and so intense that it's making people go insane and mad and crazy? You didn't see that, right? So that's 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 what this is all about. That's what Toxic Temptations is all about. Now this next project, right? I forgot the name, but you must like see it on the screen. And it's about Moose. So why you hear me say the name Moose? That you're gonna see the name of the, of the title of the project. So this is about. So this project is about a, a Cybertronian who's going around, you know, who, who's a killer and going around and making his vic, you know, just making art out of his victims, going around making art out of his victims. So this Decitron is inspired by the Marvel villain Moose because, you know, he would take the blood of his victims and turn it into art. Or something. You do something with victims and make them into art. So, yeah. Next up. <clears throat> uh, this is a, now, this project is set after Generation Season 4. And it's about an Autobot. Who's training, but he gets very paranoid for some reason. It turn it, it goes upside down. It's, this situation, this training, it goes upside down. And uh, I forgot the name of that, but you see it on the screen right now. So yeah, I'll be fully working on that one. You know, with the with the killer thing turning his victims to art. I'm working on those myself fully. But, yeah. Now here's the next one. Silent Sniper. This is the film of one of the Squadron X members, um, Shadow Raider. So this is the prequel, of course, to um, Squadron X. But it takes place like in the past. So this is about you know like uh, this is about Shadow Raider. You know how you know his how his life is because he's a he's a sniper in, in this for Squadron. He's a sniper in this universe. So yeah, it's about him. It's Silent Sniper. That's the name of his film. Yeah, I'll fully be working on that one as well though. So that's all you need to know about it. Not nah, gonna let me. Nah, I think I probably talked about this. I'm probably talk. I'm gonna get to this ways. But records. I probably talked about it, but um, I'm gonna talk about it again just in case. But the records, right? It's, 
die and talk about it. But Wreckers, right? It's just going to be a 13 episode series. It has three seasons, right? I did not talk about this. But uh, it, it has three seasons. And uh, it's going to be very dark. It's going to be TVMA, aka Rated R. So there's that. No release date for it, though. Um, yeah, uh, this is a this is a collaboration between me and Fort Max Films. I don't know if you're gonna have me with season two or three, but we did come to an agreement to work on season one together. Originally, it was just gonna help out you know, with the here in general. I was gonna do writing, but we changed up plans. We decided to, you know, just like okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna work. On the, um, this together. Oh yeah, by the way, um, if you remember, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Harvesting? Yeah, I got a uh, director for that, Prince Productions, but he only do it, you know, if he has enough time or whatever, you know, if he's, if, you know, he's available to do it and stuff, you know, he's busy with his own stuff. So I just want to do that. He'll do it only if, you know, he, he, if he can. I just wanted to mention it. But, um, back to the record, yeah. Records has season three. Each season will progressively get darker. Season three is the, is the darkest, and in my opinion, it's my favorite. I already God is playing out. I already start putting them together and stuff. So, I'm start getting figures for it. And yeah, there's that man. There's that. But yeah, um, it's pretty good though. Season one of Records already in script. I did the scripts for that. I'm gonna be working on season two actually really soon. Probably, think, yeah, this month actually. So, yeah, man. But Records is one of my favorite, probably one of my best projects too. It's one of my favorite and best that I ever done. So, yeah. It's pretty good though. You all gonna love this one. No release date for it though. That's all I can say about the Records. Man, okay. What else am I missing here? I know I'm. Ah, it's my so I'm supposed to be talking about. But I'm gonna get some to some other stuff. So I told you I was gonna do deep projects and you know series of shorts and tie-ins and the scary stuff. But here's something of something that you would not expect me to do. And I'm gonna do child friendly projects. I'm like, okay, what? Child friendly projects? Darkest project spark as dark as the universe is? Yeah. So basically I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do like child friendly projects for like children, right? So, you know, basically like, okay, so like while this, this child friendly stuff happening, we got like a whole holocaust happening. So like, while we have like something funny, like those things you see on YouTube where, you know, the, the, you know, like the little, like, um, just those things that appeal to children, you know, like little children, you know, stuff like that. I'm gonna do stuff with set within this universe. That's, that's, that's like that. And the first project will be of a Cybertronian dog. And I have one from the R&D 2015 wave. So yeah, there's that. That's happening. So I think you'll like that. But yeah, I'm going to do a bunch of these. Uh, and you're going to see these for like it's a long time though. So there's that, man. There's that. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say though. Oh yeah, reason why I got inspired to do the child stuff is because I saw a comment on a, on a Punisher video from Netflix. So it was like a, a video from Punisher's Feats in the Daredevil series where and I'm going down the comments and seeing somebody mentioned, I can't believe this exists in the same universe as a, as a talking raccoon in a tree. Because you, know, you know the Netflix shows like Daredevil, Punisher, they all exist within the main universe. You know, in the same universe as the Guardians of the Yazi films, which are very lighthearted. Maybe ex except for. You know, volume three, but the Guardians films are very, very family friendly, very lighthearted. Meanwhile, in the in, you know, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe shows such as Daredevil, you have the Punisher killing people in prison cells, stabbing them in their stomach. <laughs> you got that right there. So that, yeah, there's that man. There's that. So yeah, I want to do that right there. Like, hold, on. I want to be, I want to be like, wait a minute now, hold on. I can't. This, this, this. I can't believe this is in the same universe where um, what a Holocaust is going on. I can't believe there's some child friendly stuff going on while this, while the Holocaust is going on. You know, man. Yeah, and plus I want to do something different. I want, I want to be different. I want to do something completely different, yo. I want to do something nobody even done. I want to stand out from the rest, man. And I will stand out from the rest. 
If I can do it, you can do it too. Okay, what else did I have on here though? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, okay, what else? What else? Oh yeah, in the future I would do phases. So I would do phases in the future. That's gonna happen. Phases in the future. So don't think this universe is gonna be done after all these projects I told you about, or you know, projects you know, all these projects I told you about. It's gonna be a hell of a lot more and heck of a lot of more in the future, y'all. So be be ready. But in the future I'm gonna do phases. That's all I'm gonna do. Phases. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Okay then. Okay. Also, here's something else. I'm gonna do random projects in this in this universe. Now, random projects that I can get done with, like every day and stuff and such. I could, I just do that. So you're gonna do random projects in this universe. So that's that's it. You can run projects. Now, what else? What else? Okay, I did that. Oh right, yeah, by the way, some of those deep projects I dream about may be so deep that the letters in them will mean something and they will connect to the um they'll connect, you know, to other projects to make synthesis. Same will go for letters and such. <clears throat> They'll mean something. Well yeah, um, uh, hmm. Shit, let me see if that's all, because I think I am I have to this maybe like two or three things. Yeah, I know, I mean I know probably told a lot of you all about. Hmm, I did all of this though, yeah, I did all that. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm I'm almost there anyway, I'll stay with you. Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Alright, got one project. Well, I got three projects. Three or four. Let's go with it. Transformers New Era. Now, Transformers New Era is a sequel to Transformers Generation Season 4. So it's said like, uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, said one year after Season 4. This New Era is said in 2022. Uh, the main villain of this is the DJD. I can't tell you much about this film, but it is. And uh, speaking of DJD, remember the DJD project that I said is going to happen? Well, this right here and those are going to be part of a, of a saga. And just, just for the fun of it, Transformers War Within is part of that as well. So they're, they're all part of the same DJD saga, so that's that's happening. That's, that's completely happening. So, yeah. Now, now, now. Let's get to something. Let's get to this juicy stuff. Let's, let's get to this other stuff. I got two projects. Could be three, though. But I got two that I want to talk about. Now, uh, these two projects I want to talk about is one film. I know it's, it's one film I want to talk about. And it involves a lot of things in it. I know some of you all, if you're watching this, and I probably messed with you on Instagram, you know what's up. But this project that I'm going to talk about, it's called Transformers Multiverse. Yes, sir. Transformers Multiverse is a film that, uh, I got something to do with it. Transformers Multiverse is a film, right? That I'll be doing, right? It's a film that, that I don't know. That has it, it has a lot of universes in it, right? It's a multiversal crossover film. So you're gonna see a lot of universes that you know and that you don't know. There's gonna be a lot of universes. Some that ended, some that's still going, some that's still finished. You're gonna see a lot of universes in here. So you're gonna see many, many transforming universes. And Shattered Glass is actually actually the Shattered Glass series actually has a part of that. Because Shattered Glass Optimus Prime is the main villain of Transformers Multiverse. And uh, yeah, here speaking of Shadow Glass Optimus Prime, I actually have them. <clears throat> That's what I'm calling. Notice in IDW Orion packs, Shadow Glass Orion packs. But 
I'm calling him Optimus Prime because that's essentially what I have him for. So this 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 guy is is my guy. Damn. Where's his other piece at? Oh nah, bro. It's pretty. I ain't gotta look for that piece though. But yeah, this is our main villain. This is the Optimus Prime, and yeah. He's the villain Transformers Multiverse. This is gonna go crazy though. I'm telling you, man, like it's gonna go crazy, yo. You're gonna like that. You're gonna absolutely like that. Transformers Multiverse. And uh yeah, so it's gonna be a long film, it's gonna be very dark and most likely deep as well, but it's gonna be dark though. It's TV, it's not TV, but it's rated on. So yeah, there's that. And it's coming out in 2026, yo. It's coming out in 2026. Cause next year I'm I'm gonna do the script and after that I'm a film a year later. So yeah. Same with Shattered Glass, it's also coming out in 2026. Transformers Nightmare I told you is coming out next year. But anyways, yes. Uh speaking of all three together, these three are gonna be part of a trilogy called the multiverse trilogy. I almost call it the most saga, but I can say that name for later because what I'm about to tell you is it's gonna play into that. But trans the, the multiverse saga, right? It consists of Transformers Nightmare, Shattered Glass, and Transformers Multiverse. With Transformers Nightmare being the first installment of that trilogy. And it's going to come out next year. So the Multiverse trilogy starts next year. So yeah, there's that. So, but also, I'm going to do a prelude, right? To Transformers Multiverse called One Last Destination. And essentially, one last destination is a prequel. So basically, you have universes, right? This is like Final Destination. So in this, and one last destination, you can have characters want to go back home. This is gonna be about, they're gonna be going back home. It's gonna be deep and dark. This is really dark. So you know they're gonna try to go back home, man. But they can't. It's gonna be, it's gonna hurt them really bad, man. And Jack Glass Prime is the main villain of that. So yeah. There is that man. He's the main villain of that. So yeah, he's the main villain. And yeah, you will see characters in here. That from other stuff, you will. Yeah, he's gonna wanna go back home, but it's hard, bro. It's like Final Destination though. This is gonna be like Final Destination. But yeah. Um Oh yeah, by the way, final, uh, not final, but um, One Last Destination is not part of the Multiverse Trilogy, so of course it's not, because the trilogy consists of three. But it's, of course, as you know, it's a prelude to Multiverse, so there's that at least. But uh, also, speaking of Multiverse, right, because we know Generations and, you know, all these other universes, you know, the Multiverse exists, though. I mean, the Multiverse existed from the start, since I already did generations, like, you know, when I did generations, like, you know, you know, existing in a, in a multiverse, that's it, but yeah, there's a multiverse here, it's happening, and it's gonna be explored within all of that, but, uh, yeah, speaking of multiverse, though, I'm gonna do a series of multiverse things, so, like, you're gonna dive deep into multi, like, different universes, so I'm gonna do a series of multiverse projects, like, one thing, right, it's gonna take place, like, one like in one universe, Optimus Prime could could be um, um, yellow. He could him possibly is endless. And the first project is gonna be a samurai project. The reason why, because I've seen some samurai transformers online, right? Like uh, samurai Optimus Prime and all of that. So I want to explore the multiverse though, and that's what we call the multiverse talk. So yeah, no title for um. The Samurai Project in the Multiverse. That doesn't have a title. That doesn't. Huh. <clears throat> okay, what else? Damn. Hmm, okay, I gotta think about what else I'm missing. Hey, by the way, Shattered Glass is getting two seasons, though. So that's that's happening. It's getting two seasons. But damn, okay. Anyways, so, um. What else am I gonna have to reveal? What else am I missing? What else am I missing, yo? Good to see you. Huh, I guess I'm not missing anything else. But if I am missing something, then you're gonna see it on the screen. 
But so far, this is all I know. It's all I'm aware of. And that's it, man. I'm thinking, oh, am I missing something? Huh. No, I did that. No, I ain't missing anything. No, no, no. I'm not missing anything. No, not that I know of. But if I do, I'm going to let you know. Though. I'm going to let you all know. <clears throat> I'm going to let you know if I'm missing something. Dang. Oh, yeah. Well, I made one thing clear, though. Uh, I actually wrote down, like, a list. You see, this is, like, a 2024 slate. So, here's just the slate right here. All these little things I have to tell you all. Here's that right there. Here's this on the back. So yeah, all right, wait, I got a Transformers Generation Universe wiki. So in that wiki, I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna list, you know, all the stuff that happens in, in the Generations Universe. So be ready to see that. Also got a Transformers Multiverse wiki that I'm working on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the links in the description below for you all to see. See, you know, both of those, man, all you can see. Let me even doing some merch, maybe, with all of this stuff, you know? Also, yeah, it's an, yeah, also, like, I'm doing, like, I'm doing a style motion teaser for Transformers Multiverse coming out next year, so, stay tuned for that style motion teaser. But, uh, shoot, man. Shit. Yeah. Huh. I guess that's, that's it, man. But it's gonna be pretty fun, actually. I also have another multiverse idea on mine, but I don't really know if that's gonna, I don't know, I gotta see how this, how the multiverse stuff goes. By the way, Beast Wars, right, season one, of course, it's already been thought of. Season two has already been thought of as well. Season three, uh, I'm gonna see if I have an idea for that, but I'm gonna see if I can make that happen. So, yeah. Because Beast Wars is again three seasons, just making that clear. It's been three seasons. Dang, what is I missing up? So I did all of that, right? I already talked to you all about the, um, the projects, plus, you know, those that I have in mind, plus, you know, the, the wikis. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking about I'm considering doing wikis for, you know, different universes, like one universe, that one, another one. I'm thinking about doing that. But so far, it's all about the wiki stuff, man. I'm also opening a, I got a Discord server, but I'm gonna have to rebuild it over. I didn't exactly put much building into it, but. I have to. I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna do it. Trust me on that one. I will do it. <laughs> I will do it, y'all. But yeah, I can't wait to get all this stuff out. This 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 has a bright future, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is the bright future. This is the bright future, though. Bright future. It's the bright future, though. Ah man, it's, it's pretty good though. You gonna like this? You gonna like what I have in mind, y'all? Hmm. I'm trying to think though, because I don't miss anything. I don't miss it. I mean, I'm not missing it. I'm not missing the PlayStation. That's one right there. I'm not, I'm not really doing anything, really. But, uh, uh, shit, I don't even know what to say, guys. But uh, thank you all for coming. By the way, um, the vil oh, yeah. By the way, um, the villain, all the villains in, in the Fallen Saga are not Decepticons at all. In order to help. Nor are they associated with the Decepticons. You may see two, three Decepticons here, but they aren't actually the villain. All the villains in here, they are not Decepticons, nor have they been part of the Decepticons, nor have they ever been the Decepticons. They are not Decepticons at all. They're their own different breed of villains. They're Cybertronian, of course, but they have never ever been the Decepticons. They are not Decepticons, and they never will be the Decepticons. They are their own Decepticons, hence why I have them, hence why. You know, they different things, you know. Fallen is not a Subcon either in this universe. He doesn't have anything to do with Subcon at all. He's, he's just doing something, you know. But yeah, man. Pretty good. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, also, the Nazi thing doesn't, you know. Happened, and, you know, until you know the, the, the fallen, you know, not the fallen, but the nice thing doesn't happen until the second arc, which is arc two turmoil. So that's when the nice stuff kick in. So yeah, but every villain, you know, from arc one, two, and three, they all are working. They all are under the same boat. They all work for the fallen. 
And they all follow and follow orders. They're all connected to each other. So there's that. If you didn't know that. But I just wanted to mention it anyway. So. <laughs> Shoot. But yeah, man. But yeah, you're gonna see some original you're gonna see original characters in this. A lot of these villains are original characters. Original villains, original characters. That's it. All these villains in this Fonz Saga are original villains. They're original characters, man. So I'm using like, you know, different designs of one character, such as, uh, damn, come on. Ah, oh, oh, man, this whole, this whole collection is going to fall down, man. I got to be careful, yo. Okay, I'm going to move you out the way. All right, by the way, I own Shadow Raider, Nightbird, and, and, um, and it's too weak. But, uh, like this guy, right, he's going to be uh, his own original villain. So, yeah. There's that. Put him. Gotta put him over here. And I got this control on my on my thigh, bro. On my left thigh. So I don't have to drop it or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, the animus thing is based off of something that I read and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, shit. Thank y'all for watching. I'm probably feeling from getting this game right now. Uh, yeah. I should be working on season four again, like soon, like edited it together. I gotta get more voice actors for this season and stuff. I'm still gonna do Marvel stuff though, so yeah. But you know, I'll be talking about Transformers only. So yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I had like a bummy series, but that's not having to do anything with this at all. There's no bummy series that's, that's that's connected to any of this whatsoever. I just mentioned that. It's like a cool little bummy series that I was doing. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff, man. See a lot of stuff, so I think you all Oh yeah, by the way, um This universe now has a name. You know my universe now has a name? And the name is Genverse. The name is is titled Genverse. So I got it on this piece of paper. I know I'm holding y'all up, you know you're like oh, in the sky going to end. Or maybe y'all ain't like that. But that gym verse. You can see that. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not showing you in the paper. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm probably showing you in the paper, but you know, you hear my voice in the back and you already see it on the screen, so yeah. But yeah, on the screen, I'm probably showing you like all the projects together. So yeah. There's that. And after I get done talking, you probably if I you probably may see some other sagas or whatever that I may show you. Hmm, sure. No. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell about that saga yet. But I'm gonna wait though. I'm gonna wait. But thank y'all for watching, man. Shit is pretty good though. Um, okay, I'm gonna try a little bit more time, man. Damn. Huh. Oh yeah, season four was supposed to come out this year. Promise for season three and my phone as well. So yeah, and the film it took up a long time. I was finally glad to get that done. Yeah. Appreciate you all. At this point, I appreciate Andy and everyone else. Help me. Guts. Yeah. Appreciate these ideals that, that came to mind everywhere. My head's small, but uh, yeah, my throat's getting sore. But I uh, think y'all for watching, and I'm back. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. And oh man, how you know how everything else? I was just you know, you guys and stuff, and, yeah. So, um, peace out, y'all. I right, thank you all for coming to the TFCon. Thank you. I'm gonna do another TFCon though in the future. Where I we have more projects to talk about the ones that I got going on. So yeah. Another rabbit though. Peace out, y'all.